Hi, this is Katherine Martin with Terrier Vision. I'm here with head baseball coach Todd Interdonado. Coach, another great win tonight, 8-5 to five against Asheville. What was going right for you guys tonight? Uh, I thought we did a good job continuing to put good at bats on their pitchers. You know, we had 15 hits, hit a lot of balls hard right at some people. But I thought we'd continue to have good at bats and continue to score even after they made it a one-run game. 12 doubles and four triples a year ago. More numbers that you don't usually see from a catcher, especially those triples numbers. And the right-handed hitter against the lefty bounces one. Just inside the bag at first. This is going to go all the way to the right field corner. Scoring easily to tie the game is Rudusilli. They'll send Hash as well, and he is in there safely. Speaking of triples for Carson Wall, there's another on cue, and the Wofford catcher gives the Terriers the lead in the bottom of the first. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Drilled. Left field. It's going to be a fair ball down into the corner. Coming home is Rudusilli. Little trouble digging it out of the bottom of the fence for Kobos. Both runs will come home to score as Hash trails and just like they did in that first inning. After UNCA picks up a run, the Wofford Terriers plate two in the bottom half. Short sleeve weather today oh, in South Carolina. How about that? Man, love it. Supposed to be nice through the first part of the week as well. Elliot Lance with that different arm slot. Bullpen came in tonight and did a great job, including Will Stillman with his fifth save. How do you feel about your bullpen? We like those guys down there, and I feel like they're starting to settle into some roles, and having Will on the back end with as much experience as he has finishing games, it allows those younger guys to pitch in front of him and be a little more comfortable. But those guys coming in, throwing four and a third shutout after Jake gave up the home run, I thought was the key to the game. Third base bag, Miller. Left-handers pitch. Line in the left field, base hit. A two-out rally for the Walford Terriers. And McLean Bradley, who is now two for two in the game, has yet another RBI. That is hit hard into the right center field gap by Paradowski. That is going to go off the fence. Paradowski is going to easily have a double. Puts the brakes on. And a leadoff double for Alec Paradowski. And it's good to see that the extra base hit's still coming. So here's McDougal. He's continuing to see a big baseball. That's lined in the center. Todd Internato is going to wave Paradowski home. He's going to score. McDougal's going to try for second, and he is in there. Great hustle by Max McDougal. Oh, his second baseman, Lucas Owens, thought the tag beat him. But what great hitting and maybe even better base running by McDougal to get in there with a double. You've got to get a good look at it right here to decide for yourself, and let's see exactly what our field umpire Lindy Hall is seeing. You'll see exactly what he saw. And it looks like the tag was missed until the left hand was in there as he took that right hand, lifted it up, and didn't give much body for the second baseman to work with. Max, three for five with an RBI tonight. How are you feeling out there? Um, I was feeling great, um, putting together good at bats. I felt comfortable at the plate. Um, and then uh, later in the game, the pitching, we could really fall back on the pitching. They came out throwing strikes, especially after the fifth inning when they gave us a good uh, Carl Marks red scare there. It was, uh, it was tough right there, but we, uh, our pitchers came out and gave us a lot of confidence so we could keep swinging the bats. You're playing great defense, including your big stop on third tonight. Was that something you worked on in the off, in the off season? Um, uh, we kind of, I worked on it all, I guess. I mean, just, I'm just ready for anything that comes my way, to be honest. It's kind of one of those things we practice almost everything. We spend a lot of time with JJ trying to get better, and it is paying off. Thanks, Max. Great game tonight. Thank you. Six games in the next, in six days. Yeah. How are you preparing for this? Well, we're going to take tomorrow off and get some rest, hopefully, after this. And it's going to be a lot of fun because playing is always better than not playing. So, But we just hope we can continue to be prepared, use our pregame as kind of practice. and then. But it's a lot of fun. I mean, playing that many games in that many days, it's, like I said, playing is always better than not playing. Thanks, Coach, and good luck in this week. All right, thank you. Payoff pitch again. Inside corner, called strike three, fittingly. It ends with a strikeout by Will Stillman. It is his fifth Save of the young season across the first two weekends. Terriers complete a perfect home run of seven consecutive games across the first two weekends of the year.